Hi, this is Dr. Karen Lawson. Welcome to Fundamentals of Health Coaching 1. This is one of your pre-course preparation presentations, and tonight we'll talk a little bit about course logistics. The things that we'll cover in this presentation are to give you an overview of the basic course structure with a few timing details and tips, um, some acknowledgement and placement of the weekly work plans. We'll talk a little bit about technical requirements and recommendations, um, Moodle and managing information online, and give you a few tips for success. So one of the most important things is to look at how to really approach online learning. For some of you, this may be the first time you've had a class that has a significant portion of the curriculum online. While this is a blended course, uh, the online portion is very important. One of the things that you will quickly find out is that the more you put in, the more you get out. For most people, uh, typical expectations during the week are to spend anywhere from 10 to 12 hours a week doing course-related work. That would include your reading and writing assignments, but also the time that you spend on Moodle and on the, the course site. Um, this is your way of being connected to each other, the way that you can share your ideas and concepts through discussions, share resources with each other, explore things that are new to you, as well as get links to documents that you need to read, quizzes or tests that you need to complete, and instructions for projects and papers that need to be done. The best way to think about this is just as a course that really meets every week um, and that your work week begins every week essentially at midnight on Sunday night um, and ends at five minutes to midnight on Sunday night. So you begin a week um, at 12.01 on Monday morning. Um, the um, work plans are assigned and labeled as such week one starting with the first Monday of the course. All of the folders and work plans are identified by week number, and so when you're looking for assistance for something, what you really want to reference is if you're looking for help in week four or week eight, because um, that's how they will be identified on the course site. The syllabus, which was provided to you prior to the course beginning and is also available on the website, really gives you those high-level objectives and the grading overview. I we strongly suggest printing a copy, keeping it where you can look at it. It's nice to have a hard copy around, um, but you can always access it online. And it is important to recognize that that really is high level. If you want to understand the objectives for any particular area of the course, week by week of the course, um, looking at the work plans will give you that kind of detail. Because of the size of classes and the need to fit course structure to optimize um, learning, Depending upon the registration each year, most classes are divided into two or more smaller groups, and each one of those small groups will be identified with a specific faculty member. So look at the website this year for your small group. Usually small groups vary from anywhere from five to eight people per small group, and we'll have a primary faculty instructor assigned to them at the beginning of the semester. That faculty assignment will rotate at the midterm so that you get an opportunity to spend quality time with each of the faculty in the class. Um, specifics about these small groups assignments are posted in week zero of your Moodle site. Reading assignments is also a separate document that was sent to you prior to the course beginning and is also posted here on the Moodle site. Um, it will give you um, the specifics of what readings you should be doing for that week as well as an, at least one evocative question. Those questions are simply for you to have something to think about to help focus your reading. They're nothing that you need to write a written response to and nothing you need to turn in. It's important to plan ahead, so if you know you're going to have a difficult week or a travel week, you may want to get a jump start on your reading ahead of time um, so that you don't fall behind. Every week there is an online journaling um, component, and that really works like a personal blog. The only people that can read your online journaling are yourself, as well as the course instructor and any course assistants that may be involved in grading. Um, a typical week entry um, that's acceptable is a moderate size one to two paragraphs. This should not be a whole page of writing. Uh, half a page is plenty. Um, and to know that this is a place there for you to put personal reflection. Um, while the instructors do read it and may make occasional comments, this is really for your own personal growth and to know that you are addressing the questions that are being asked of you each week. If you have a specific question back to the instructor, it's best to email them or um, send that feedback in a Moodle comment to the instructor um, so that you can get a timely response. Another component of the weekly course structure are 
online discussions. Um, these are done within your small groups. Um, they are moderated by a faculty and potentially a faculty assistant each year. You're expected to make an in original contribution by responding to the question or comment um, by Thursday night at midnight every week so that your classmates and your small group members have an opportunity to read those comments and respond to you. And you, if you want to get the full grade for any given week, you want to make a response to um, at least one of your classmates' entries by Sunday night at midnight. You're welcome and invited to make response to as many classmates' entries as you wish. Um, the scoring for the online discussions is as you can earn three points with your own original uh, well thought out and um, evocative uh, contribution and you can make one point in your response or responses to your classmates for a total in any given week of four points. The next component of the weekly online structure are online assignments. Uh, these are writing assignments. They're um, more formalized than the journal or the discussion. They should be one to two pages in length. References are not mandatory but are optional and if you feel um, that they're they're suitable or fitting for the assignment, you're certainly welcome to put up to three references there. They should be double spaced and used a size 12 font. It is not necessarily to do cover sheets for these, um, but recognize that we are looking for the best of your writing quality here, including grammar, sentence structure, um, and the overall structure of your um, comments to make them easy to read and understandable, accessible by others. As this is a graduate level class, we are expecting graduate level written communication in these online assignments as we will also expect later in your larger projects or exams. We do use videos and uh, group calls to give you some other opportunities uh, for different learning experiences. Um, these will be posted well in advance and are noted on the course calendar. You may have the occasional dyad call in um, this course. I believe there are two dyad calls that occur um, on a scheduled fashion. So please just check your calendars and pay attention to the weekly um, structures. The probably most important um, aspect of this course is the weekend intensives. There are two weekend intensives. Um, one usually in late September or early October and one in early to mid-November prior to Thanksgiving. Um, those intensives run from 1 p.m. on Thursday, <coughs> excuse me, until noon on Sunday and we finish each day at 5. These are um, attendance and participation mandatory. <coughs> excuse me, so barring a um, serious car accident or hospitalization or death of immediate family member, um, it is required that you attend. Um, even in certain emergency circumstances, if you have to miss more than a half a day, these may not be able to be made up and you may need to take an incomplete in the course. So make sure that these dates are on your calendar and that you plan on being there. It's important to arrive in a timely fashion. We recommend at least 15 minutes prior to start and that you come um, comfortably dressed and uh, ready to take care of your own needs for food and beverage, etc. There are a number of technical requirements. Um, we do uh, include details about this in the welcome letter that you should have received. If you have not received a welcome letter, please notify Dr. Lawson as soon as possible. Um, Internet Explorer is the least reliable of all of the browsers and does not work well with Moodle. We strongly recommend either that you use Google Chrome, Firefox, or Safari as your browser of choice when working in Moodle and on the website. There are drop-in computer help hours on campus during um, business hours, both at the Medical Library and the Kaufman Union on second floor. There is also a uh, phone line with computer help available. So a few tips for success. You will be receiving your student manual um, by the first week of the course, if not prior to that time. At least scan it superficially, know what's in it, keep it handy for reference. Even for those of you who are not fully in the master's or certificate program, um, you will find it handy for reference, um, particularly philosophy and orientation and expectations. We recommend that each week or at least one week in advance that you print your weekly work plans. Um, that will help you look ahead to see what's coming to manage your time and your activity planning. 
We do not recommend that you work more than two weeks in advance without checking with the instructor because sometimes last minute changes are made. If you have major travel or something that's going to take you away that um, leads you to needing to do uh, work further in advance, please speak with the instructors. You must, must, must check your University of Minnesota email daily, um, even if it's just for five minutes. If you know that you, again, are going to be traveling, particularly foreign travel, where this is going to be difficult, you should um, correspond with your primary faculty member around the length of your travel and the time at which you may be out of email contact. There are also Moodle site announcements made every day. You can make a choice at the beginning of your Moodle site how you would like to receive these. If you want to receive it as a push anytime an announcement comes through, or if you want a summary document of Moodle activity once a day in your email at the end of every day. I believe they do it usually around 5 o'clock. So you can make a, a choice of how you would like to receive notifications. Um, it's also important that you should really take a quick peek at the online um, small group discussions, the discussion forums, at least every other day to see what your classmates have posted and what the thought is. Remember, this is really kind of a long distance and slow conversation, but it is a conversation. And it's very frustrating if one or two students are kind of yelling out into the wilderness and no one is responding or acknowledging them. So remember, you're talking with your classmates. And another really important thing, which you will hear me get on my soapbox about over and over again, is it's critical how you label your documents. Your documents, when you save them in files on your computer, should always be labeled with your last name, your first name, and then the specifics about the document. Assignment week two, midterm project, uh, whatever those specifics are, but always start your file with your last name and your first name. I also highly recommend... Um, particularly on any longer documents that you use the header uh, function and put your name at the top of every page and that you paginate your documents. If you wish, you can put a date in the footer function. That way you know that you have um, the appropriate version of whatever document you are working on. Um, so um, this is important when you submit things via Moodle, but it's also critical if you should be emailing instructors or uh, assistant instructors with anything, because if a document comes that simply has a descriptor like assignment two, but with no name on it, then that instructor has the choice of either opening it and having to rename it and resave it themselves, or sending it back to you and making you do it over. So don't make us send things back. Um, so here I alluded to the header function here. Um, you want to be concise and to the point in your assignment, your discussions, your journals, your tests, and your paper. Um, have acknowledged the fact that this is a graduate course and writing quality is expected. Um, and again, you need to find the right balance between not too much and enough. Um, so don't be brief to the point that you are not adequately getting your point apart, up your point across. Um, but also don't pontificate uh, for length, just assuming that the longer you speak, the more likely you'll be after it. So we really expect you to moderate your own communication. When you submit written documents for the most part, those are submitted via Moodle, and instructor feedback is often given back to the students by us writing on that document with track changes on, saving it, and returning the original document to you or to the Moodle site for you to read. So we suggest that you read the feedback given by the instructor as soon as possible so that it can help impact the next week's work. So with that, we're getting ready to launch. We hope you're as excited.